I use Excel to track everything. One of the things I track is how many U.S. states I have been to. I'm trying to get to them all. A list is great, but it's always fun to have some sort of visualization. So let's create a map to see all the states that I have visited. This feature is available on Windows or Mac if you have Office 2019 or if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription. Simply go to Insert and look for Maps here to know if you have this feature. Okay, here we are in my worksheet where I'm tracking how many states that I've gone to. I have the date that I was there, the state, and the country. Now, the date doesn't play a factor into creating this chart, but it really is important to have the country. That's just going to help the map know where the location of these states are. And I'll show you what happens if we don't have that. But I'm going to go ahead and select the range that contains the states that I have been to, including state and country. And I'm even going to go down and include the range that are empty right now because I want to be able to fill this in and my map automatically update. So once I have that range selected, insert tab, go to my maps. Now one thing to know is Excel Maps uses Bing to plot the location. So to use the Excel Maps charts, you will need to have a connection to the internet. Okay, so why did I go ahead and include the range where I don't have any states located. Well, here is my chart of the United States, and the states that I have visited are filled in. But I do know that this year I'm going to try to go to Texas, and I'm going to try to go to North Dakota. So if I go ahead and fill these in, notice Texas automatically fills in, and South, or it was North Dakota, I'm going to try to get to and North Dakota. If I had not included this range, then I'd have to go and redefine the range again in order for my map to update. Go ahead and get rid of those and see how I have this dynamic map working for me. Now, one more thing to know is the chart will plot the first column of your selection. So the first column of my selection is the state. So it plotted the states. Now, if I were to reverse this and I put country and then state, let's see what happens. It simply doesn't map correctly. So let's reverse that because that's not what I want to do. And what would happen if I tried to map this without the country code, if I just have state? Again, it's not going to work. So there is some data that Excel needs in order to be able to map correctly. Okay, that was how you create a very simple map. But do keep in mind, it does matter what data you have. Sometimes when you create a map chart using Excel, you will get blanks or errors. It's just a good idea to add a column to your data like this country code of USA, so the map knows where to look. Sometimes it may take a little bit of trial and error to get this right. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.